Hey guys, it's going, and today we are going to be doing something a little different. In this video, I will be giving my ideas on how to balance every operator in Rainbow Six Siege. They will be presented in a patch notes kind of form, so without further ado, let's get into how to balance every operator in Rainbow Six Siege. Sledge's hammer now knocks people back rather than killing them. Sledge can knock people through three walls, soft ones, reinforced ones, and even impenetrable ones. No matter what combination of walls it is, he, they will always go through three of them. Thatcher's EMP now stops all guns from firing. EMP now lasts one whole minute. Yeah, he still does have three grenades as well. Ash can't be picked until 10 seconds into the operator select screen to prevent insta-locks. Anyone who picks Ash is automatically muted in text and voice chat, because we all know Ash players are toxic. Ash is also now a 1 speed 1 armor operator. Thermite's exothermic charges now have a blast radius of 3 reinforced walls, and both charges are now immune to electricity. Since Clash can do damage while shielded, Monty now gets two miniguns, like Overwatch's Wrecking Ball whilst fully shielded. Twitch now gets five shock drones, and they each have 1000 health points, but they only get one shot, and that shot insta-kills anyone no matter where it hits. Blitz no longer has legs. He lost them to a cat can trap. IQ scanner now works exactly like Pulse's scanner does in Extraction. It will scan heartbeats, and then transmit that information onto your teammates screens as well. When Fuse activates one of his cluster charges, they lock onto the Fuse player and rapidly fires until they are dead, or out of line of sight. Man I hate Fuse. Glaz's scope gives him aimbot when it is equipped. Buck has a new passive ability. When he takes any damage, he has the option to down a bottle of maple syrup and heal himself to 150 HP, no matter what his HP was before drinking the maple syrup. For Blackbeard, I like Varsity Gaming's idea of giving each shield 800 HP again, and then giving his deagle three 800 HP shields too. Perfectly balanced, as all things should be. Capital players can only see the right hand side of their screens because of his eye patch. You know, realism and that. He also has a new bolt, which is a poison bolt. It has the same tick speed and damage as a lesion goo, but it cannot be removed. Hibana's pellets now breach through soft and reinforced surfaces instantly. She also has 30 pellets now. After Jackal scans an enemy, the person that gets scanned gets locked into place for two seconds on every ping but Jackal gets revealed like the original lion scan with flashing text saying pervert over his head from the start of the scan to 10 seconds after the last ping. Ying's candelas have halved detonation times for each stage you cook it for. Ying now gets 10 candelas as well. Zofia has withstand again, and her concussion grenades now knock you back like an air jab and also slow you again afterwards. When equipped, Zofia's LMG will slow you by 90% whether you're holding it in your hands or just have it on your back. Dokubi can now control defender gadgets such as echo drones and maestro cams when she hacks a defender's phone. Finka gains a movement speed buff and another charge of her nanobots every time she gets a kill with a suppressed spear, because damn, that gun sounds sexy. Lion gets his original scan back, except defenders don't have to be moving to get highlighted. It's just straight up wall hack. Scans now last 15 seconds as well. Maverick can now create holes in floors and go through them, rather than having to rely on hatches. Nomad now has 5 air jabs, and the air jabs make defenders screens spin uncontrollably when triggered alongside its current effects. Gridlock's track stingers now have double HP, cover twice the area, and insta-kill defenders when trod on. Gridlock also causes the screen to shake for all players across the map when moving. Knock now goes completely invisible when she activates her gadget, alongside not triggering proximity-based traps such as Malusi Banshees and Ella Grismot Mines. Amaru can no longer pick up the diffuser. After Amaru uses her Garra Hook, she gains a 50% movement speed increase and fire rate increase for 10 seconds. Amaru is also immune to frost traps. Kali's sniper rifle one-shots everyone, no matter where she hits them. Her explosive lances now break gadgets through impenetrable surfaces too. Yana's clones now have the ability to throw frag grenades and also have infinite frag grenades when in clone form. Enemies that shoot Yana will get pinged as if they shot an alibi prisma. Ace's Selmas now have five segments each, rather than the usual two. 
Zero has eight cameras instead of his normal four. They are immune to ADSs, not with my magnets, and are bulletproof. Flores gets six Kabumi drones rather than his usual four. RCE Rotaro drones can now also destroy reinforced walls. Osa shields are now one way like a mirror when deployed on the ground or a window. However, the non-transparent side is on Osa's side. Mute only has one jammer now, but the radius of it is the entirety of the map. Smoke's gas canisters no longer affect teammates, and they fill up the entirety of the room it is detonated in. Castle now has 10 barricades, which can no longer be meleeed to death. Armor panels now deploy instantly. Pulse can now use his weapon and secondary gadgets whilst using his heartbeat sensor. Doc Stims now heal his teammates up to 150 HP, no matter what health they are on. Doc can now revive dead teammates with a stim pistol because icons are out and corpses are back. Rook t-shirts now equip everyone wearing them with the elite skin for that character, except for the ones that don't have an elite skin. I'm looking at you, Castle. T-shirts also remove one-shot headshot, it's now two-shot headshot instead. Jaeger's rework is reverted. He now only has two charges per ADS again, but this time he only has two ADSs. Jaeger can also not be picked if Wemai is already picked, and vice versa. Bandit's batteries now electrify two walls each, and he decided to get some cable extensions to electrify hatches with as well. The Lord Tachanka now has 300 HP, withstand, infinite LMG ammo and mag size so he never has to reload that, infinite incendiary grenades and mag size so he doesn't have to reload that either, Tachanka is now 3 speed and his fire can melt drones and shields. Now that's what I call balance. Capcan now gets 10 traps which deploy instantly and 3 C4s to throw. Two traps on a doorway or window will insta-kill anyone, no matter their HP. Frost now gets 6 traps that camouflage into rugs and carpets. Tis but a rug. Valkyrie's cameras no longer disconnect when outside for longer than 10 seconds again, but the Valk player themselves cannot access any cameras at all, so only her team can utilise those cameras. Caviella can now use her primary weapons whilst in silent step. Pressing the melee button whilst in silent step makes Cav throw a throwing knife to down enemies. Interrogations give the outlines of the enemy players rather than just their icons. Echo's drones are fully invisible all of the time, and they can fire three shots at a time. Each shot takes five seconds to recharge. When concussed, enemies are slowed for ten seconds as well as the current effects. Mira can now pick up and relocate her black mirrors and seal the holes they previously created. Legion Goos can now be seen by Legion through walls again, and their damage tick speed is doubled. Legion gets 10 Goos total, the last one being gotten 2 minutes into the action phase. Ella's Grismots have the exact same changes as Zofia's concussion grenades. They now knock you back like an air jab and slow you for 5 seconds afterwards. Vigil now gets a speed boost whilst his ability is active, and his gunshots no longer make any noise whilst his gadget is active as well. Alibi Prismas now adapt to the player's cosmetic items, attachments, and weapon choices. Alibi now gets the option to toggle Prismas on and off from a distance, as well as being able to control their movement like Mirage can in Apex. Maestro cameras are now fully bulletproof while shooting, and the laser fires at the same fire rate as the SMG-11, so 1250 rounds per minute whilst taking the same amount of time to overheat. Clash's shield now has 50 HP, and when destroyed, she's still slow as heck. She also lost her tasers on the shield, and the only gun she has access to is the Super Shorty. Cade's Electro Claws have their range tripled, and they can now electrify soft walls. Don't ask me how that works. Mozzie now gets 8 pests, which are now bulletproof. Hag's drones now have a 50% movement increase, as well as thermal vision. Mozzie also gets the option of the Super Shorty Secondary again. Warden's Glasses now have an infinite duration and give him aimbot, wall hacks, and recoil macros. Goyo's Volcans are on a shield again, and he gets 5 of them that last for 30 seconds each when detonated. His fire also melts drones. Wamai now gets 10 Frisbees to throw, and they can absorb everything Jaeger can now as well. Oryx now regenerates 5 health per second at all times. His Remadash can now go through reinforced and impenetrable walls. Oryx can now jump onto any ledge at all, and go on top of the roof. 
Malusi's Banshees are now fully bulletproof again, but they also make Banshee screaming sounds rather than just bass. Aruni's laser gate can be deployed wherever she wants now. Skylights, halfway down corridors, metal detectors, etc. Thunderbird's Kona stations now have a three-shot magazine and recharge every 15 seconds, just like the current Twitch drones do. Stations also have doubled range and suppressed spear kills give Thunderbird movement speed boosts too. Thorn's razor blooms detonate instantly and break all shields, so Monty, Blitz, Fuse, Clash and Deployables. When a player gets hit with the army's kunai knives, they will get solidified within the concrete so that they can't move, shoot or do anything at all. Teammates will have to melee the player three times to get them out because any other method will kill that teammate that's frozen. Thank you all for watching, I hope you all enjoyed. If you are confused about this video then check the date it was released. All the clips you saw today were taken from my Twitch stream, link will be on screen and in the description. I will be taking a break from uploading for the next two weeks because I am incredibly busy on the week that this is uploaded so I don't have time to record footage, but I will come back with my casuals guide to Ella video. I'll see y'all in the next one. Goodbye. Oh, I did get him! <laughs>